welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna decorate my room fall themed. If you guys are returning subscribers, then you know my room is very white. So I'm deciding to brighten up my background. So when I am filming videos, you guys can feel in the fall mood. I'm actually sitting in my room after I've already decorated so you can see little snippets of it. I am so happy with how it turned out. If you guys are interested, please stay tuned and see how I decorate my room. So to say the least, this room is extremely boring. The only thing that has character in here are my album covers and my little sports bobbleheads. But honestly, does it feel like fall in here? Not at all. So today we're gonna change that. Soon it will be festive. Hopefully I can find a nice festive fall blanket to replace my Pocahontas one with. If you guys don't know the story to this blanket, go watch my TikTok video and you'll find out. Okay, so this is the before. So to get started, I collected all of my stuff that I already had in the garage. We did not have as many decorations as I thought. I think last year we did like a purge cleaning and we got rid of like a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna do with what I got. Okay, so I'm gonna go through all of the decorations that I was able to get together that we already had. So let me start out with the statues. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you this one. I told my sister it looks like a hip ghost. He's like... This is actually like a piggy bank, but I don't think we ever used it as a piggy bank. I, I don't know why you would have a piggy bank just for Halloween, but we don't use it for that. Then we got this Halloween weird looking dude. Kind of looks like a mixture between a pumpkin man and a scarecrow. Next, we got this guy. I think it's probably supposed to be outside in the garden, but it's gonna be in my room. Got this pumpkin man. He's tin. Oh, you could put a candle in there. I wonder if we ever knew that. We got this hanging pumpkin guy. Then we got a bat. You can put this like on your glass. You can put a battery in there and the light, the eyes light up. We got some corpse bride flowers. Um, I'm still unsure if I'm gonna wanna put this in my room, but it's like a blow up pumpkin. So we might put that in here. Then we got some skeleton dudes that light up. So probably put that somewhere. Then a little plate. Then this is gonna be my new curtain. Then just a variety of cloths. All right, so that's all I could find. I mean, I don't know if this little bit of decoration is gonna be enough. Okay, so let's get started. super super cheap so I took it down because it was like too much white on top of a already white wall there's something else out if I need to but I'm gonna blow up this pumpkin now and then maybe put it right here next to the table or next to my desk I'm not sure I think it'll turn out cute So it's the next morning now and I wasn't really happy with how the decorations were looking. We didn't have enough stuff and I thought we had so much more. So I think I'm gonna go to the store and pick up like, I really want like leaf garland. I also decided to move my bed this morning cause I was up all night thinking about this. I'm like, I want it to look nice and it's just not looking nice, you know? So I actually moved my bed this morning to see how it would look. And I actually really like it right here. So I moved it to the corner of my room. I don't know, I kind of like it here. I'm gonna leave it here for a little bit. and all last night my sister was like you know what I like this one for here instead and the ghost on the side table so I actually like it too and I put the flowers in the little coin thing but I put the little pumpkin right there I think we just need like a little bit more and um, it'll be good to go so let's see what I get from the store let's see what I can find uh... 
little haul time. This is my little reusable bag that I took. It has little miniature schnauzers on it. Let's see what I got. Oh, this I got for my mom. What does it say? Creep it real. Um, oh yeah, I think I got this. Like I said, it's been a couple of days now, so I kind of forgot. Cute. Okay, so even though it's a 99 cent store, things are not 99 cents. This was actually $1.99. Oh, then I got this. It was so cute, but I noticed that. so I really love blue if you can't tell by my room So I thought this was really cute because it's fall and it matches my room. It's kind of messed up right here And I was like <sighs> it was the only blue one. So I think it's so cute It's adorable. This was $1.99 also then I got uh, some leaves because I wanted a fall garland, but they didn't have any, so I'm gonna make my own. Oh, this one's, this sign says, hello fall. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this yet because it might look a little cheesy. Um, more leaves, different color leaves. More leaves, oh my God, I didn't even realize how many leaves I got. More leaves. And this little candle thing, so cute. It's like little leaves. Oh, this was 99 cents. Really cute. So that's all I got from 99. Then I have a big selection, like besides it looking kind of like cheap, some of the items are cheap looking. So let's see what we can do with this stuff. Look at him. Oh my God, my baby. Are you unhappy? You're just gonna stay like that? <gasps> Oh my god, look at his leg. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's a lover like a pipe bomb. Mm. You're just gonna lay right there like that? All day? So, let's start out with this Hello Fall garland. My dog is now on the bed upset. <laughs> so, let's start out with this first. So, this is what it, it looks like. Dang it. It's, it's a... Uh, Tattered again. Oh, okay, okay, okay. See, massive. It doesn't look as, it doesn't look cheap at all. So I hope on this big white wall it'll like clear up some of the empty space that I have in here and um, make it a little feel a little bit more festive. So let's do that. So I decided to um, separate it because I would think if when I'm sitting down in front of the camera, it'd be better if it was hello and then fall underneath it instead of one big long hello fall. So you guys tell me what you think. Did I make a mistake by cutting it or does it look better? How it looks now i think it looks really cute like i said we ended up separating it into two different ones instead of the long one and i think it's a lot better i know it's really empty right there and that's what my sister was telling me but i'm gonna be recording right in front of here so it's nice right there so i have super glue all over my fingers now because i super glued all the loose thread around the tacks so it kind of looked like the tacks are brown like the same color like the fabric Next up, leaves time. So what I'm planning on doing with the leaves is like decorating these mirrors right here and then um, putting the leaves around here, possibly around here, and then possibly around here also. I did clean these mirrors, but the damn Windex for some reason was not working for me today. So yeah, that's why it looks smudgy. So I kind of want to make like a garland for right here. I have some fairy lights and I was seeing on Pinterest that they had the fairy lights and then they had um, leaves on them. So I kind of want to try to recreate that. So let's see if it works out. extra fairy lights like this thing is massive for three dollars look at it's so long so now i'm kind of contemplating like should i just put it on my closet would that be cuter or garland around the closet because there's like a lot of fault thing going around on there but hmm, i don't know what decision i'm gonna make future self just a symptom of 
forgotten you slip me in your pocket. Okay, I think I'm gonna put it around my closet. I know it would look cuter on there, but I think I'll just put like leaves staggered at the bottom and I'm... so let's do that first. Then we'll see what leaves are left over. Turn up the television now. Set me in the corner now and take me colors with that. Don't you hear me out? You're painting on my feet. Okay, according to the bags, we should have about 194 leaves. That I think that's gonna be more than enough. Hopefully. So we got this kind, like a muted color. Then we got this one for the more realistic metallic. Then we got the glitter ones that have veins in them. So we should be able to do something with these. And so let's see how this turns out. I'm gonna be using double-sided tape to attach them to the mirror. Let's see if that works out. majority of my leaves fell you know acting like it's really fall in this room so I'm gonna end up using my handy dandy glue gun instead I asked my mom if like well will the glue gun ruin my mirror because that's what I'm mainly nervous about and she said no it should come straight off afterwards so I'm listening to her and I'm gonna put them on with the glue gun because they're kind of frustrating me I just want to get this done so I can get this done I'm excited for this one back here so that worked out so much better. I should have just done it from the beginning. So on to the garland with the fairy lights, which is my most exciting project because that's what I've been wanting to do because I seen this. I had a vision of what I wanted and we I thought we had garland, but we didn't. And then I was like, oh, fairy lights. And then so I went on Pinterest for a little bit of inspiration and I was like, oh my God, I can do that. So I just remembered like all the things I have. So let's hope it works out because like garland's like 30 bucks with fairy lights. So I'm gonna probably do this in like, what is that, $2.99? Like four dollars maybe? Four dollars. I should be selling this stuff. So yeah, let's get started on the garland now. Okay, this awkward angle. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna end up using the glitter see-through ones for the fairy lights because like I said, they're see-through and then if you put them in front of the light, you can kind of see it, the light through it. So I swear if I do this and then it's like horrible, I guess I'm gonna have to re-glue everything. But yeah, I'm gonna use my glue gun for this too. And then yeah, I'm gonna run the time lapse. As you have seen from the last scene, I was putting the leaves on my fairy lights, correct? Wow, I had I was like, oh my god, it's coming out exactly the way I imagined it. I was so happy. Then, of course, <laughs> I ran out of leaves. But these are all the fairy lights I need to still fill up. All I'm left with is a three one. So I think I'm going to end up mixing some of these ones somehow in there. It's kind of going to mess up the, the beautiful pattern I have going on gonna mess that up but at least there'll be leaves so yeah I'm gonna integrate that now Alrighty guys, I am officially done with the garland and it came out so good. So even though, uh, like I said, I was alternating and but then I ran out. So I decided to do with the very tips. I decided to do the small ones, alternating the small colors. And then um, I started just taking out random ones and putting the tiny red leaves. You actually can't tell unless you're like staring at it and trying to find a sequence. So I'm ready to put this up now, guys. You're smoking out the window Oh darling Geppetto I'm wishing on a star too Go legs and start talking Walking right beside you Cut off the strings and put me Alrighty, so as you can see the garland is now done So I'm gonna get back to this mirror over here So that now I know exactly how many leaves are left over Tell me what I'm missing Oh I never listen to the crickets on the show I think 
think I'm gonna move this table over here. Okay, so for this project, you're gonna need photo paper, the LEDs with the clips on it, and Pinterest or Google, and then you're gonna need a printer. I suppose it's absolutely not necessary to use photo paper. You could also use paper if you want, but I'm gonna use photo paper because I got a ton of photo paper. Okay, so for step one, you're gonna find all the pictures that you want. So I collected all the pictures that I want right here. So in order to get the Polaroid look, this is what I do. Okay, so I already saved all of my pictures on my desktop, correct? So now what I do is I open them in paint. So I just open up my two photos because I'm gonna try to make them look like Polaroids, right? So I'm gonna actually split my four by eight into two. Okay, so what I do is I get the little, so I use the selection tool and I kind of try to put it around the whole picture and then I press cut. I go to my other picture and then I press that select tool again and I press paste. So as you can see, now I got my pictures side by side. I adjust this over here, this corner, because I don't want any of this empty white space. Close it in and then I bring this up just a little bit because on Polaroid pictures, you know, you can see just a little bit of white. And then I print and then it prints just like that, side by side. So I kind of wanted to put it right here to decorate it a little bit more. Thank you guys so much for staying till the end. I am so happy with the results and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and in the comment box down below, tell me what your favorite piece of the room was. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe because I am almost to 500 subscribers. By the end of October, I hope to meet that goal. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye.